Let's take a look at some of the newest features in Verity 1.5. To start with, we've added support for Navisworks 2019, so you can now use the most current versions of both Manage and Simulate with Verity. We've also enhanced how we handle the scan data we've brought in from Navisworks. If you recall, Verity already had the ability to update the selection in Navisworks based on what you select in the item table in Verity. We've now brought that across to the scan table as well. So when I select a scan, it's selected in Navisworks and I can see which scans I've brought in to analyze and where those are in relation to the model. We've also added a new view type to Verity. And when an item is selected and you pick scanner view, it will orient the camera in Verity at the scanner location that has the best view of the particular object. This will give you a view in Verity that is locked to the scanner location and you can look up and down uh, the item and see what part of it is covered by the particular scanner that it chose. This has also uh, changed how our auto zoom functionality works. In tight spaces, auto zoom rarely gave you a clear view of the element. Now we use that same algorithm to actually identify the auto zoom location and that will put us at a scanner location. When coupled with our match view frame functionality, it gives you a 360 style view uh, in Navisworks as well. Uh, so you can see that in the context of the model. And remember that is bi-directional. So if I go into a look mode in Navisworks and look around, it'll have that same effect back in Verity. We've also added a new way to colorize the point cloud in Verity. Previously, you could change between single point color and color from host. We've added color by scanner location. What this will do is take the first 10 scans that have a clear view of the geometry and give them each a unique color. Any remaining scans will be colored white still. What this will let you do is look at it and understand which scans on the object are coming from which location. Uh, which is a great way to look for things like deflection, uh, validate that the points that are on one side of the object really are coming from just that one side of the object. Thank you for watching.